Patients presenting for cataract surgery these days are often interested in reducing the dependence on spectacles for distance vision. However, more than a third of patients are estimated to have corneal astigmatism of a diopter or more. Unless corrected, this level of astigmatism will significantly reduce their unaided distance visual acuity. One of the most effective methods of correcting astigmatism at the time of cataract surgery is through the use of a toric intraocular lenses. One of the challenges with correcting astigmatism at the time of cataract surgery is that toric calculators are typically based only on the astigmatism measured on the anterior surface of the cornea. This ignores the effect of the posterior cornea, which can have a clinically significant effect on postoperative refractive astigmatism. This is perhaps why only about 70% of eyes implanted with a toric IOL have residual refractive astigmatism less than half a diopter. It is difficult to reliable measure posterior coronal astigmatism, so an alternative is to use a nomogram or a specially designed formula to account for its effect. The Barrick toric calculator is one such formula. Previous theoretical calculations suggested that the Barrick toric calculator will improve toric IOL outcomes. We believe our study is the first prospective study published to examine clinical outcomes after toric IOL planning based on keratometric measurements of the LENSTAR LS900 biometric and the Barrick toric calculator. Our primary measure of interest was the residual refractive error two months after uncomplicated cataract surgery and implantation of a toric IOL. We collected clinical outcomes data for 98 eyes of 54 patients. Almost 80% of the eyes treated had a half diopter or less of refractive astigmatism after surgery, while 90% had three quarters of a diopter or less. Compared to previously reported results from more traditional calculators, our results indicate that use of the Barrett Torque calculator with the keratometric data from the LensStar LS900 can significantly improve toric IOL outcomes. Our results also suggest that other factors have an effect on clinical outcomes. These include variability in anterior corneal astigmatism measurement, variability in the magnitude of surgically induced astigmatism, and the precision of toric IOL orientation.